By Matthew Capucci September 5 at 1.13 p.m. Hurricane Florence on Wednesday midday. Sierra CSUNOAA, just like that, hurricane season 2018 is in full swing. And while the remnants of Gordon continue to weaken over the lower Mississippi Valley, the focus shifts to a new threat, Hurricane Florence. This storm has a small chance to become a problem for the East Coast next week. On Wednesday morning, Florence became the first major hurricane, rated Category 3 or higher, to develop during the current Atlantic season. Its peak winds have climbed to 125 miles per hour. More than 1,200 miles from the nearest landmass, Florence isn't an immediate concern, yet. But the powerful storm, boasting a tightly coiled wall of thunderstorms surrounding its pinhole eye, does bear watching. Florence's intensity is forecast to fluctuate over the next several days, perhaps modestly weakening to a Category 2 storm. During this time, Florence will continue to meander northwestward, possibly inching dangerously close to Bermuda by the latter half of the weekend. After that, the storm's exact track and strength become major wild cards in the face of compounding uncertainties. Track forecast for Hurricane Florence through Monday. National Hurricane Center, forecasting a storm's position more than a few days into the future, is like playing a game of Plinko or Pachinko. At first, it's pretty easy to analytically figure out where your chipper ball will go. The tone of possible outcomes is pretty narrow. But as time goes on, that range of possibilities expands to encompass more real estate. The tone grows. The same is true here. The National Hurricane Center's average error from 2010 to 2017 in the predicted position of a storm is 40 to 50 miles, but that balloons to about 220 miles five days into the future and much greater after that. So while awareness and preparation are good, betting on a specific outcome this early has very poor odds. <laughs>